Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1759, composer George Friedrich Handel passes away today. In 1775, the Society for the Relief of Free Negroes Unlawfully Held in Bondage is organized in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania by Benjamin Franklin and Benjamin Rush. That's quite the name, isn't it? In 1816, remembered as the first national hero of Barbados, Busa leads a slave rebellion and is killed today. In 1818, the U.S. Medical Corps is created. In 1828, Noah Webster first publishes an American Dictionary of the English Language. Also in 1828, the British HMS Acorn sinks off of Halifax with 115 men aboard. In 1836, the U.S. Congress forms the Territory of Wisconsin. In 1841, Edgar Allan Poe's Murders in Rue Morgue is published. In 1846, the ill-fated Donner Party departs Springfield, Illinois for California. In 1860, the first Pony Express rider arrives in San Francisco from St. Joseph, Missouri. In 1863, American inventor William Bullock patents the continuous roll printing press. In 1865, John Wilkes Booth shoots President Abraham Lincoln. He will pass away tomorrow. Also in 1865, and related to Lincoln's assassination conspiracy, U.S. Secretary of State William H. Seward and his family are attacked in their home by Lewis Powell. In 1866, Anne Sullivan Macy, Helen Keller's teacher, was born near Springfield, Massachusetts. In 1872, San Francisco organizes the Bar Association. In 1881, the four dead and five seconds gunfight is fought in El Paso, Texas. In 1890, the Pan American Union is founded by the first International Conference of American States in Washington, D.C. In 1906, the Azusa Street Revival opens and launches Pentecostalism as a worldwide movement. In 1910, U.S. President William Howard Taft begins the tradition of throwing the ceremonial first pitch on opening day of baseball season. In 1912, the passenger ship RMS Titanic hits an iceberg in the North Atlantic at 11.40 p.m. tonight. Her sinking tomorrow morning kills more than 1,500 people. In 1914, Firestone Tire and Rubber Company patents the non-skid tire pattern. In 1925, WGN Radio broadcasts their first regular season Chicago Cubs game. In 1927, the first Volvo car is produced in Gothenburg, Sweden. In 1935, today was the Black Sunday Storm, which was the worst dust storm of the U.S. Dust Bowl. In 1939, American author John Steinbeck's classic, The Grapes of Wrath, was published. In 1940, RCA demonstrated its new electron microscope in Philadelphia. In 1941, Germans raid Paris and round up 3,600 Jews. You can guess what happened to them. In 1944, a massive explosion in Bombay Harbor kills 300 people and causes extensive damage. Also in 1944, the first Greek Jews that were transported from Athens arrive at Auschwitz. In 1945, American planes bomb Tokyo and damage the Imperial Palace. Also in 1945, the U.S. 7th Army and Allied forces capture Nuremberg and Stuttgart in Germany. In 1948, a flash of light is observed in the crater Plato on the moon. Or is it? In 1949, the International Military Tribunal at Nuremberg passes their last judgment today. In 1952, American author Ralph Ellison publishes his debut novel, called Invisible Man. In 1955, 26-year-old catcher outfielder Elston Howard becomes the first African-American to play for the New York Yankees. In 1956, in Chicago, Illinois, videotape is first demonstrated. Also in 1956, Cole Porter's final Broadway musical, Silk Stockings, closes at the Imperial Theater in New York City after 478 performances. And in 1956 as well, Ampex Corporation demonstrates the first commercial videotape recorder. In 1958, Soviet spacecraft Sputnik 2 
with Space Dog Leica aboard, burns up during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. In 1960, the musical Bye Bye Birdie, starring Dick Van Dyke, Cheetah Rivera, and Dick Gautier, opens at the Martin Beck Theater in New York City and runs for 607 performances. Also in 1960, Barry Gordy Jr. incorporates his Motown Record Corporation. In 1963, Beatle George Harrison tells how he is impressed by an unsigned group called the Rolling Stones. In 1968, today the iconic Madison Square Garden hosted their first NBA game. In 1969, the first regular season MLB game played outside the United States happens in Montreal. Also in 1969, at the 41st Academy Awards, Oliver, Cliff Robertson, and in the first ever tie for actress, Katherine Hepburn and Barbara Streisand win. And in 1969 as well, a tornado strikes Dhaka, East Pakistan, killing 540 people. In 1971, the U.S. Supreme Court upheld busing as means of achieving racial desegregation. In 1974, acting FBI Director L. Patrick Gray resigns after admitting he destroyed evidence in the Watergate scandal. In 1977, American actress Sarah Michelle Gellar is born. In 1980, at the 52nd Academy Awards, the best picture is Kramer vs. Kramer and Dustin Hoffman and Sally Field win. Also in 1980, the Pulitzer Prize is awarded to Norman Mailer for Executioner's Song. In 1983, U.S. President Ronald Reagan signs a $165 billion Social Security Rescue. In 1986, the heaviest hailstones ever hit Bangladesh. They are about 2.2 pounds each and they kill 92 people. Also in 1986, a force of U.S. warplanes bombed several sites in Libya, narrowly missing Gaddafi. In 1986 as well, at the 21st Academy of Country Music Awards, Alabama, George Strait, and Reba McIntyre win. In 1988, the Soviet Union agrees to withdraw from Afghanistan. In 1989, the 1 billion, 100 millionth Chinese person is born. In 1992, Guys and Dolls opens at Martin Beck Theater in New York City for 1,143 performances. In 1994, a US F-15 accidentally shoots down two US helicopters over Iraq, killing 26 soldiers. Also in 1994, Branch Davidian cult leader David Koresh promises to surrender after completion of his Seven Seals manuscript. It doesn't happen. In 1999, NATO mistakenly bombs a convoy of ethnic Albanian refugees, killing 75 people. In 2000, heavy metal band Metallica files a lawsuit against P2P sharing phenomenon Napster, which eventually leads the movement against all file sharing programs. In 2003, started in 1990, today the Human Genome Project is completed. Also in 2003, U.S. troops capture Abu Abbas, the leader of the Palestinian group that killed an American on the hijacked cruise liner called the MS Achille Loro in 1985. In 2004, today the leader of the Eastern Orthodox Church finally accepted the apology offered by Pope John Paul II three years earlier for the sacking of Constantinople by Crusader armies in the early 13th century. The 13th century, isn't there something a bit more pressing that these two gentlemen could have focused on? In 2005, the Oregon Supreme Court nullifies marriage licenses issued to gay couples a year earlier by Multnomah County. I thought that Oregon was supposed to be really tolerant. In 2008, at the 42nd CMT Music Awards, Taylor Swift and Trace Atkins win. In 2010, a Jeffjoliakul volcano in Iceland began sending ash plumes into the skies, disrupting air traffic for days across northern and central Europe. Also in 2010, nearly 2,700 people are killed in a magnitude 6.9 earthquake in China. In 2012, J.K. Rowling, author of the Harry Potter novels, launches her website, Pottermore. Also in 2012, Today's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees include The Beastie Boys, Donovan, 
Guns N' Roses, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, the Crickets, the Miracles, and Don Kirshner. In 2014, the Islamic group Boko Haram kidnapped more than 275 girls from a boarding school in Chibok, Nigeria. In 2015, archaeologists announced that in Kenya they have found 3.3 million year old stone tools, the oldest ever discovered. And guess what? They predate the earliest known humans. I'm thinking aliens. In 2017, The Fate of the Furious, starring Vin Diesel and The Rock, opens worldwide and has the highest grossing movie weekend ever at $532 million. In 2018, at today's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, inductees include Nina Simone, Sister Rosetta Tharp, Bon Jovi, The Cars, Dire Straits, and Moody Blues. In 2021, Ponzi scheme manager and financial thief Bernie Madoff died in federal prison at the age of 82. Good riddance. And lastly, also in 2021, the former Minnesota police officer who shot Dante Wright with a gun instead of a taser is arrested and charged with second degree manslaughter. Hey, thanks for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot more coming. Thanks. Talk at you tomorrow.